We really wanted to make a movie for us. This was a movie, we didn't pitch this movie. One of the Key and Peele writers, Alex Rubens and myself, wrote this on spec. So we basically created what was to us the perfect Key and Peele movie. And uh, we wrote the whole thing, the, fir the first draft without a kitten in it, and then realized we needed something to, to bring us in and bring, uh, bring the heart to the movie, so uh, we came up with this uh, this idea of this this kitten that wears a do rag, and we put it on the poster, and uh, everybody that doesn't know Key and Peel would hopefully uh, have to go see the kitten do rag movie. Any movie that we ever l really laughed at is a movie that we've we've cared about the characters. So Keanu is a way for the audience to really, really root for our characters through the whole arc. Good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. I am Keegan-Michael Key. I'm Jordan Peele. We are Key and Peele. Mm -hmm. And now, this time for Reddit to, to ask, ask us, us anything. anything. Ask me anything. Ask me anything. Ask us so as collectively, a... ask us separately. Just start asking. Favorite dinosaur? Um, I don't. I don't know that the Keanosaurus uh, places for me. I, I don't know that it's even in my top ten. Um, the Keanosaurus. I would have to say my favorite uh, dinosaur. I'm gonna go trike. Triceratops. Mm, mm. I have. I am now and have always been a f fan of the Stegosaurus. Mm. I like the little plates on his back. So basically, we like herbivores mm -hmm. um, who- Low to the ground herbivores. Who, right, but who have defense mechanisms against the carnivores. Quadrupedal herbivores. And that, that th those are kind of the spirit animals for our characters in Keanu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we go out there and we put up our horns and we put on our plates mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we tussle with the T-Rexes the of the, T -rexes, the world. The T-Rexes, the Velociraptors, Method. even the Brachiosaurs of the world. I would have to say that if uh, if I had two parents, co comedic parents, they would be Peter Sellers and Richard Pryor. Those are my comedic parents. And they inspired me because both of them were actors. <clears throat> and I've always been, in, I'm, I'm an actor first and a comedian second. And I think they both were that. Richard Pryor may not have known he was an actor first and a comedian second, but he was just a rare, rare talent. and. Um, and the same for Peter Sellers. So they, they are my, my spirit animals in regard to my vocation. I would go with uh, Martin Lawrence and, and Steve Martin. Steve Martin Lawrence. Mmm, nice mashup. You see what I've done? That's a delicious mashup. Always think in juxtaposition or juxtapositions. So you have a, a, the most vulnerable, cute, fluffy thing in the world, and the majority of our movie takes place on the gritty streets and in a, a dank, grimy strip club with a bunch of gangsters. So you're taking kittens and gangsters and mixing them together. Or you're taking nerdy guys who have to pretend they're assassins and mixing, and you know, guys who've never held, handled a gun pretending to be the, two of the greatest assassins in the world. So you just take opposites and you smash them together and you use juxtapositions to make people uh, giggle, to make people say, oh my God, that's ridiculous, how's that happening? So I think if you're, if you're writing comedy, to think in that way is, um, is always helpful. Mm. More than happy to answer this question. Hit him, George. Keanu is a real kitten, and uh, like, I think we, the question we answered earlier, there's about seven uh, young cat actors that we used uh, for Keanu. But all real, all practical, nothing CG. Couldn't afford it. Would have been more than happy to do it. Couldn't afford it. Loved to do it. Okay, well, first of all, it's a short I sound and the diacritic mark uh, in, in um, the International Phonetic Alphabet is extremely s exact about this. The word is and should be pronounced vanilla. 
not vanilla. Now, I, the thing is, I understand what you mean when you say vanilla, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Same thing, like, I know what milk is. I just also know that that's the wrong way to pronounce the word. This is, you know that this sticks yeah. in my craw. People can't be this saying kind of milk. Stuff. You can't be saying milk. You can't be saying vanilla. There's no E in the word vanilla. Y'all can't be talking about I have a good idea. Mm -hmm. There's no R in that There's no word. There's no R in that word. It's idea. And also, here's another one. I'm just because it's making my pet peeves. I know it makes me sound like a snob. It's almond. Almond. And when you're when you're the opposite of how I feel right now, when you're the opposite of how I feel right now, you're calm. You know, you ain't calm. You ain't calm. And it, it ain't, these nuts are not called almonds. Yeah, almond. We yeah. don't call it salmon. Don't nobody call it salmon. All right. Rusty does. It's true, he does. I stand corrected. I mean, in it, to my defense, it is spelled S-A-L-M-A-N. That's salmon. Salmon. But you talking about fish going upstream and jumping into bear's mouths? S-A-L-M-O-N? Salmon. Come on, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm calmed down. You all right? I know, I get a little you're, heated. You're, I get a little heated about the pronunciation stuff. You're calm. I mean, it's like, that would be as if I had just said pronunciation. Pronunciation, yeah. No, but, don't, but don't say that, because that's not correct. Yeah, well, that's not correct, no, that's not correct. God damn it. We're gonna be together for a long time, but we have already made concerted efforts to kind of go out and do things in our own voice, and um, I, I, I'm not too terribly concerned. I think people will understand, because the things that we're doing that are different than Kim Peel are so varied yeah. and so different that you've got to understand that we're two separate entities. I think either one of us could have had a, a show yeah. on, on Comedy Central, and when we realized that, that the other one was you know, also down to do a sketch show, we realized it was a force multiplier. And so, no, not, not afraid of that. Thank you so much, Reddit, for having us be here. We, we had a wonderful time today. Yes, uh, thank Keanu. you for your, your great questions. You're very, very questions, respectful, yeah. mm -hmm. thoughtful, sometimes silly, but mostly intelligent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. questions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Keanu, please, once again, remember, comes out on April 29th at a theater near you. Please go see it. Tell everybody you know you see it. Tell your friends you see it. Yeah, if you love it. If you don't love it, tell your enemies to go see it.